Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about COVID-19 and how it's affecting job, ab job availability for developers. So let's get into it. So the question question was, Uncle Freddy, how has your company been impacted by COVID-19? Have you all stopped hiring right have you all stopped hiring right now due to a loss of revenue do you think getting a job as a developer has been impacted very much by covid well i would say that it has been affected because usually this is always true if the economy takes a dive everything gets affected in some fashion but i don't think that it is is affected as much as other industries. I would even go as far as to say that I think that the IT uh, industry is in the lowest among, at the very least, the lowest risk zones. The reason is very simple because like for us we can do all the things that are necessary for us to maintain operations usually. We can do remote work and we can like we can uh, we can spread out and so forth and also let's remember that we don't have the same limitations because the thing about COVID is that some people think that it's just about oh you're not able to meet people as readily or you can't just talk to people and have meetings and so forth but remember there are many many industries where they can't even do trade I have friends who trade a lot with China for example that's practically on lockdown at this point there's no ships like they are not sending anything I think all this is it's all locked down so since the IT industry doesn't have things like trade routes or manufacturing processes or other industries that are that we depend on very heavily in order to ship software or and uh, websites and all of that stuff we're kind of by ourselves and as long as somebody's paying for our digital products and well then we can just work without having to be affected by other industries if you're a retailer as an example it's going to affect you a lot more both from the customer perspective but also from the supplies perspective depending on of course how everything is set up for you so I think that for us it's kind of low risk in general and I have not really noticed a big difference in I mean I haven't been following along exactly now where the job the job statistics are at so I'm pretty sure that there has been a drop in availability of course but overall I think it's very much the same game if I just look at my own company we're still hiring we're still looking for people and uh, recruiting and doing all that stuff uh, now after summer was is over uh, I've, I see that the recruiters are just getting back into their old groove the main difference I noticed from them is that there's more remote work being offered up but that's just me it's kind of ass data because I'm just basing it on a handful of uh, uh, offers that I've gotten and usually it's more on-site stuff and contract stuff in many cases and now it's a lot remote stuff but yeah that's that's pretty much it like before I would suspect that this may be m more of a problem if you're a junior developer which uh, isn't that always the case uh, because w some companies uh, will s go into a safety mindset or a security mindset if you think about it uh, what's the first thing that's going to happen if you realize that well the economy is taking a downturn and you're you're going to have to start thinking about conserving well if you're in conservation uh, in conservation mode either your first thing is going to be is you, the first thing you're going to do is to figure out what do i need to secure in order to make my business continue like what's the lucrative thing for me to do here now in IT your resource is your programmers uh, your programmers is they, they are the people who are making you the money so the mo uh, some companies won't think this way but uh, some of them will and they will go all right then we will just focus on getting developers that we know we can make a profit from and that's going to be the mid levels up to the senior developers and you may find I'm not saying that this is happening all uh, all over the place some cases it is 
you may find that job opportunities that were there before COVID is no, no longer there simply because people don't, a, a junior developer is usually viewed as an investment. It's a benefit that you're going to get further ahead if, once they are trained and they know how to produce. Whereas the mid-levels and the senior developers are basically just, well, if they work out, they're free money. And the thing is, you can't just stop completely hiring unless you already have all your needs met. But then again, why would you be hiring if you don't need more people? Then it doesn't really matter if it's COVID, if you have a pandemic or not. So what I want you to take away from this is that I believe, me, Uncle Freddy, believes that there is a downturn in uh, availability in terms of jobs and so forth. But I think that for software developers, the, we are on the low end of all of this. I think that things are mostly working the way that they used to. The thing to know here is that that's most likely because we are very isolated and we can abide by all the safety measurements that need, are needed in order to just continue operations. This is not true for most of the rest, like rest of the world. Logistics and other industries that are dependent on lo logistics is they're massively affected by this. My company is still hiring. I know a lot of other companies are still hiring. And from my perspective, the recruiters are still being just as annoying as they always are. And the uh, thing to know is that if you're a junior developer, you may find that there are there is a reluctance to hire you in some cases, simply because of this thing I was saying. It might be the case that some consultancies or smaller companies, even big companies, go into this mindset that, all right, we just really have to focus now, slash our costs, and just focus really hard on the thing that is really going to make us money. And that's going to be the mid-level developers and the senior developers. And we don't take any risk on anything else. Some companies will think that way and some won't, but that's, mo that's how it is. Have a great day.